It may be Israel's greatest international ally, but the U.S. took rare action against Tel Aviv on Tuesday, saying it would impose travel bans on extreme Israeli settlers after they were linked to a swathe of recent attacks against Palestinian civilians in the occupied West Bank. Under this policy, the United States will pursue visa restrictions against individuals involved in, in or meaningfully contributing to the undermining of peace, security, or stability in the West Bank. This includes acts of violence against persons or property, as well as undue restrictions on civilians' access to essential services and basic necessities. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned Israel that it hadn't addressed the settler attacks, driving many Palestinians off their land. Despite mounting international criticism of Israel, Washington has staunchly supported Tel Aviv since the October 7th Hamas attack, but has repeatedly nudged Israel about the settler violence and how its calls had been ignored. Here in this village in the occupied West Bank, schools and houses have been destroyed and much of the village bulldozed after a raid by extreme Israeli settlers. Someone was shooting at my uncle, so I ran down there and I confronted him. We were pushing each other and screaming, head to head, and I was filming him at the same time. Then around 20 more settlers came. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs say that 314 recorded settler attacks have taken place since October 7th, resulting in Palestinian casualties, property damage or both.